Hey guys, Scanner Danner here. We are excited to bring you this new series of us taking older YouTube videos, cutting them down to more manageable pieces where the idea is we can take highlights of testing methods and procedures that can be applied to all cars across the board. And of course, we'll bring you the fix too. Enjoy this video. Okay, what I wanna show is doing a relative compression test with the uh, Ver Snap-on Varus using an amp probe, and the amp probe that I'm using is uh, just a typical one that comes with the kit. It's a low amp probe. So I'm gonna actually do a compression test from the battery. The scenario would be the vehicle comes in with a misfire, you're not sure if it's spark fuel compression, and it's a quick way to identify whether or not you have good compression in the engine. The other thing that I forgot to mention is we disabled the fuel so the car doesn't start. Go ahead, keep cranking. Keep cranking, keep cranking. All right, that's good. What you're looking at on the screen would be the compression humps that are created, generated by uh, the starter motor encountering those forces of compression. As the starter rotates, it will encounter the same forces you do if you try to turn a crankshaft by hand on the compression stroke. It becomes more difficult, amperage is going to rise, so each spike represents cylinder compression. Alright, I got the spark plug out now, and so what we have is one completely dead hole no compression in one of the six cylinders. Uh, I've disabled the ignition now at this point because I have a spark plug wire off and I don't want that plug wire laying with nowhere to go and all that energy built up in the coil. I don't want to damage the coil. And uh, can you go ahead and crank that for me? Okay. So two things I want you guys to to do first thing is did you hear the way the car cranked did you hear the inconsistency in that crank once your ear is trained to that sound it almost at times will eliminate the need to do this test if you have a car that comes in with a misfire and it's cylinder specific and you disable the car so it doesn't start whether it be clear flood mode unplug the coil unplug the injectors and you crank the engine over and you hear that sound that's, that's no compression in one of the cylinders. Okay. All right, that's good. So what we had before was six even uniform humps on the screen, didn't we? Count them, I'll just start here. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing one. One, two, three, four, five. You're missing one. So what is this area in here? You have no compression on one cylinder. So that's it. It's a basic test. Amp probe to the battery cable. We're just looking at starter current and we're using this to tell us that we have a compression problem and we never took a spark plug out to put a gauge in to make that measurement. We have a dead hole here for sure. You would not do a tune-up on a car like this. You wouldn't put an injector in it. You wouldn't put a coil in it. You have a compression problem able to be identified very quickly. There's another method. It's a little bit more complex. What's going to happen is we're going to have amperage coming in, amperage readings from the starter on the second channel, the green trace, and the yellow trace is going to be my ignition firing of the number one spark plug wire. This is a waste spark system, so what you're going to have is on compression, you're going to have a high firing KV, and on exhaust, you're going to have a low firing KV. That's important in cylinder identification once we plug in the numbers. Okay, you see the yellow trace is actually your number one cylinder firing. So this is number one, this is number one, this is number one, this is number one all the way across. What you're looking at is low, high, low, high, low, high. That would be what you would expect from a waste spark system where it's firing on compression and it's firing on exhaust. So the yellow trace is our sink and our green trace is our amperage from our starter. And number one on compression, again, is when the spike is high. And so that this is the number one cylinder right here on compression. This, this hump right here would be the number one. So the next thing you would need is the firing order. We looked up the firing order already on this car. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a very easy one. And you see this would be one. The missing cylinder, which is our, our, uh, our valley here, this gap. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and it starts over. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So you can see that cylinder number two has no compression. So that's it, relative compression test on the Snap-on Varus, identifying synchronizing starter current with ignition waveforms. There's other ways to do it on other systems. This is how you do a waste spark. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the highlights of this case study. If you have any questions about the testing methods being shown, or you'd like to learn more about my process, click on the link in the description for the full length video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and more importantly, make sure you click on that bell icon to get notifications of all new uploads.